Okay, folks. I, this video, yeah, I didn't practice much before I hit the record button. What we are going to do here today is show you a way to make non-organic, and this sounds really fucking odd, homemade artificial semen, or cum, as more casually known. Um, what we're going to do here, excuse me for my piss poor video, we're going to take a, I guess that must be like, what, three quarters of a gallon here? here let's flip it over real quick, see if it'll, nope, no markings. So we're going to say it's like three quarters of a gallon. It's a regular um, pan or pot for making pasta or things of that nature, cooking kibasi, whatever. And what we are going to do here is take, for this size pan, I'm going to take two ivory soap bars. Here's the picture. Maybe you can see it, yes. There it is. Two of these bars, you can pick them up at Walmart, I think they're like five or six bucks a piece. You can get a whole package of them. But we only use two because that's the consistency we want. Anything more than that, and you're gonna not get a very good consistency. You're probably going to get a, it's also gonna be a waste of soap too. Anyway, so what we're gonna do here, excuse me, I'm just gonna put this down while I unwrap this little fucker. Okay, what we're gonna do, we have two bars. Pretty much what I want. That's about the level that I want right there. Now you can even use two and a half. If it was a bigger pan, I'd definitely use two and a half. But we're just going to use two for this size pan. We're going to take it. We are going to set it on high for right now. As you can see, we're going to set it on high, but we don't want to really boil it. Eventually what's going to happen is just kind of like anything else that you boil in water, it's going to dissolve into the water. So such as like um, salt or other products that I can't quite think of right now. But the soap's going to do the same thing. What you're going to end up with is a great big pan of soap, liquidy type soap. And um, well just hold on one second and I will, uh, I will get you some what I'm talking about. This is what this is going to turn into. Okay. Here's what I have. This is one, a batch that has already been made up. Um, pretty ooey gooey, kind of disgusting stuff. Um, it is, none of this was organic. Okay, there's no flour, there's no baking sodas, there's, there's no cornstarch, syrup, sugar, salt, none of that is in here. All this is is basically, actually this one here was actually two and a half, I believe, bars of soap. This one here is going to be two because obviously it's a little bit bigger pan, so I used two and a half. The problem here with this though is that if you look carefully, you will see little clumps, almost like air bubbles sort of, but they aren't air bubbles. I mean, obviously you can see the air bubbles, sort of, but they're like little clumps in the clearness yeah and what that comes from is stirring this material what you want to do is you really just want to gently boil it until it's you know all saturated into the water super saturated I think is the term used and what you want to do is you want to carefully take it off the heat and just set it in a fairly cool spot to uh, I guess coagulate or solidify, sort of. Um, refrigerator is okay. Um, you can even set it into a cold tub of water, if you will. Um, obviously, do not mix any more water. So if that's all the water that I have and that's what I'm using, do not mix any more water. There's no need to. You can still end up with clumps if you do, like you see on my hand right there. But it's still a nice consistency. I guess some entertaining people could have a lot of fun with it. Um, you can even, I guess, put some green dye in it. Make, like, green slime and nasty shit with it. Do whatever you want. I would not suggest um, ingesting it. Um, I've never experimented with such things, but you're welcome to. I do not suggest it. You should probably use extreme caution. I certainly wouldn't, in, wouldn't swallow it of any kind. 
Um, you know what? Just, just, just keep it on the outside, folks. For fuck's sakes. Uh, so, let's see here. Is there anything else that I'm missing? I'm going to take another video shortly when this starts boiling. Um, actually, you know what? Yeah, I'll take another video as soon as this batch over here on the left starts to boil up some more and show you all that good stuff. Okay, so what we have here, I brought another bucket real quick while this thing was on pause. And this is actually a better consistency material that I've made. And I, what I've done is I've actually thrown in, ooh, that is some gooey looking shit. What I've done is I've actually put in a little bit of um, just regular, uh, was it oil, um, cooking oil, cheapest kind. And as you can see, it gives it a little bit different consistency. If you notice, there aren't any clumps mixed in with this material here. So, well, there's, the light is terrible. Let me see if I can clean my lens real quick. Okay. But yeah, you, as you can see, you don't see many, it's just a clear film. That's really the kind of consistency that you want to get But yeah, you can squeeze it, fling it at people, do whatever you want. It's good stuff. Um, again, even with oil in it, and when I, you know, I would just use regular cooking oil, uh, you know, canola oil. I don't give a fuck what kind of oil you use. Uh, don't use automotive oil. That would be bad. So, yeah, and we're just actually about done with that other pot over there. As you can see, it's boiling away. And we'll get to that shortly. Okay, and I'm back. As you can see, we have a, like a very slow simmer. I've got it actually down to this seven. I'd even turn it down a little bit more. It doesn't need to boil much. What I'm gonna do is just take a knife, cut these up a little bit. They're pretty soft at this point. There's a big clump. Okay. As you can see, what's happened is, you know, the two bars of soap have actually... Uh, can't think of the word I'm, I'm trying to say. But they have... They are now infused into the water. They have melted themselves into the water. They are super saturated, the water is. So what I'm going to do now is actually just take the can of water. And I'm going to just simply move it outside where it can gently cool off. Obviously, you don't want to put it outside if it's raining. It would be a very bad idea. It's probably no more than about 55 degrees outside. I'm just going to let it sit right there and come back in a little bit. Okay, so here's another video. This is the soap that was, you know, melted down. As you can see, I actually put my fingers in it sort of already. But what you want to do is just go around here, collect all the hard parts if you can. Get that stuff out of there. That's just the pieces of soap that we're unable to... Um, melt. No big deal really. But uh, as you can see it's pretty hard, it's pretty solidified. I can actually you know flip it upside down and shit. But again you want to let this sit, you don't want to stir it up or anything. But as you can see it's it's pretty you know, solid as of right now, but then you just kind of squeeze it and take your hands and you can work it. And that is the result that you get. I'm just going to drop my camera here. We're going to mix it and mush it and all that good stuff.
Uh, there's lots of other things that you can do, you know, while you're experimenting. But yeah, this is, um, I guess you can make slime or do whatever out of it, but it's been, it really looks like fucking semen. This is gross, nasty shit. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Um, you can store it for, you know, I've stored this stuff for a long time. From probably, I guess, a few months. Um, you can use oil in it. If you use oil in it, you have to store it immediately. The oil will dry it out over as short as a day or two. So you want to make sure it's covered up. It also really works really well because it is soap for like cleaning your hands of dirt and oil and grease and shit like that. Probably not the best use of soap though to do this, just to clean yourself. Um, also works good as a shaving cream if you want to put this on your face. <laughs> Everything about this is just fucking gay. Uh, but yep, there. There it is. Ew. All right, folks, that's your uh, life lesson for today. Thank you for watching, I guess.